Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be showing you my morning skincare routine. You guys have been asking me to do this video for so long and I promised you I would. So it's finally here. I am going to be showing you everything I use in the morning, almost every morning. Some mornings are a little bit different and I'll talk about that when I get into it. But I will be showing you kind of almost everything I use and then I'm also going to do another video for my nighttime skincare routine Before I start I want to let you guys know that I have combo skin it tends to get more dry in the winter time more oily in the summertime But whatever time of the year it is it always tends to be uh, more oilier in the t-zone So I have combo skin. So the first thing I like to do is cleanse my face in the morning Sometimes I'll do just with water but most of the times I like to use a really, really gentle cleanser. So it's one of my favorite, favorite cleansers. This is my second bottle. I love the way this cleanser feels on my skin. It's the Osea Ocean Cleansing Mud. Um, organic tea tree and peppermint, which is what helps kind of wake you up. I just love the way this cleanser like smells and feels on my skin. It really like wakes you up, it tingles. And I love the feeling of things tingling on my skin. Um, if you don't like that, you probably won't like this uh, cleanser, but I just love that feeling. I really, really like the Allies of Skin Silk Amino Hydrating Cleanser. This one's really good. I'm almost out of it. I also love this Paracone one. This is the Gentle Cleanser with CBD in it. It's a really, really good cleanser and it is gentle, so it's great for the mornings. This is also another great uh, cleanser. So I keep all of these and I just kind of rotate depending on how my skin feels and what I feel like using. This is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. This is great for makeup too. This product is really good for makeup. So after I cleanse my skin, I usually splash it with cold water and then I'll gently pat it dry with a clean towel. I already cleansed my skin. So the next step I usually do is I'll either apply this elixir. It's from Paracone. It's the same CBD sensitive skin therapy rebalancing elixir. I really, really like this product. Um, I'll usually apply this with my fingertips and just pat it onto my skin. Maybe like three drops on the palm of my hand. Rub it between my hands and just pat it onto my skin. So it gets absorbed really nicely. Always bring your skincare down to your neck and chest. Next, I will go in with like an oil or a serum. It just depends on the day. I have so many oils I love. I just love using oils on my body, on my skin, and my hair, just oils everywhere. <laughs> so I really, really, I just started using it to the people and I really love this product. It's their Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Oil. Everything I'm sharing with you guys will be linked in the description. As usual, use to the people, 15% vitamin C with caffeine, deep puffs, brightens, firms, things we love. So I love using about a pump of this and like two or three drops of this. So I will use this today, but I wanna show you some of my other favorites that I love using. I recently discovered this brand called Coolia and I really, really, really liked it and the way it feels on my skin and kind of what it does to my skin. So this is their face serum, this is their eye serum and the packaging is really cute, but one thing to note is you don't really get that much product and they're not they're not on the cheaper side. I'll have them linked in the description. Go look at their ingredient list. It's amazing um, and you could really see a difference in your skin. Sometimes, depending on if I'm looking really pale, I'll mix my tan looks, the face self tanning drops. Um, I'll use about three to four of these into my moisturizer or my serum, whatever step I kind of want to do it at. Um, and this just helps give you a really nice like gradual tan. Another serum I really really like using, I've told you guys about this one before, it's a Dr. Um, Barbara Sturm. It's the Hyaluronic Serum. It leaves your skin silky smooth as if you have like this insane primer on your face. It's just like hyaluronic acid is obviously amazing for hydration. If I'm wearing makeup and want a nice glow, this is a serum I'll use. It's the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. You need maybe like one pump of this if you want to be really glowing you'll do two it has this beautiful sheen so i'll just do one pump of this into the palm of my hand and then about like three to four drops next up is moisturizer i have several moisturizers i like to use as well it just again depends on the day and my mood and what my skin needs so I'm just gonna share some of my favorites with you guys. And these are all daytime that I'll use some of these. You can also use for the nighttime, but these are just like moisturizers I use for the daytime mainly. Um, love the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew. I recently talked to you guys about this product. It's really, really good and super hydrating and lightweight on your skin. Great for like warmer months as well. This one I'm almost out of. I freaking love this moisturizer. It's the Starskin Organic Pink Cactus Pudding. 
super hydrating, gives you a great glow. Barbara Stern face cream. This is really, really hydrating and a little bit on the thicker side. So if you need something that intense, this is a really, really good moisturizer for that. I also love using Elemis. This is the Marine Cream. I love this product. It feels really cooling and lightweight on your skin. I think those are all of the main moisturizers I'm currently using as far as I see here on my cabinet. Um, but I'm gonna use the Barbara Sturm today because my skin does feel really, really dry. Um, I don't know why. It's probably because it's about to snow in New York. It's that freaking dry and cold outside, so. Next step is lip balm. I love this glow recipe one. Next is eye cream. I love this Pericone CBD Soothing Hydrating Eye Cream. Another eye cream I love is this. I just actually started using the Ordinary and this is their Caffeine Solution. So these two products are the eye creams I've been using and loving recently. Today I'm going to apply the Ordinary just because I feel like I need that Caffeine Solution right now. I always use this finger because it's the lightest. So you just pat that in. So the last, last step I do is apply sunscreen. This is a Super Goop Glow Screen, SPF 40. So this one gives you a good glow as per the title and it's great for under makeup. Kind of works like a primer too, to be honest. Okay, so that's pretty much it for my morning skincare routine. This is kind of just what I do every morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I use. I will have everything linked in the description as promised. And I will see you guys in my next video.